Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you some new by Terry products. We have the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder Palette. This is pretty much an all-in-one face palette. You can set, you can mattify, you can smooth, you can blur, you can contour. Sounds pretty good, right? So we're going to try this out. Along with the VIP Expert Palette, this is the Bonjour Paris. So we're going to try this out as well. And I pulled as much by Terry as possible so we can do as much by Terry as possible. But our main focus today is going to be these two new products. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me tell you a little bit more about the products really quick and then we'll get into everything. So let's start off with the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder Palette. This is the Hydra Care Face Palette. It's an all-in-one that's said to mattify, smooth, set, blur, enhance, and contour. I really like the, the center logo. It's a T, but you can see that it's also a G, and that's for Terry de Gunsberg, who is by Terry. Um, I do have a more dedicated video explaining the brand that I did a while ago. I'll link it for you if you want to check it out. I've been a big fan of the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder for a very, very long time. We're talking maybe seven years at this point. I'm talking about this one. This is the Translucent. It does come in um, shades, more tinted tones, but that is the Translucent. That's the one I have used forever and I kind of stick to. But this variation here is the medium to warm, which is number two. They do have a lighter version. So this is said to, what is it said to do? I don't know. Let me tell you. Hold on. Ooh, I'm on her website and all the little holiday sets are available. Yes. So this is said to be a true all rounder type of product. So this Hyaluronic Hydra powder palette is said to have six makeup benefits in this one palette. So it said to mattify, smooth, set, blur, enhance, and contour for a perfect sculpted look. And in said palette, you have four silky matte powders, sheer buildable coverage, and it's available in two variations, fair to medium and medium to dark. And this is a vegan clean formula. So those were all of the details for the all over face palette. Next, which is really exciting, is the eyeshadow palette. This is number four, Bonjour Paris. This is a nine eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. Love all of the beautiful details. I think all of the colors in this palette are very wearable, very perfect for every day. This is definitely a palette you're going to want to reach for for like you know, your go-to looks. Of course, we'll check out the formula, but first let me tell you the details. It's been a while since I've used a By Terry eyeshadow, but I've been a fan of the By Terry eyeshadow since, since these. Mm -hmm. These, these little raviolis. <laughs> this is OG. I mean, I have another one. I always hold on. I don't use them anymore because they're, they're a little old, but I've always kept them just because I've always loved them, you know, and I just thought they were always so beautiful and I've never been able to find eyeshadows like this. So there's that. So I feel like based on the experience with those, I'm, I'm interested to see how these are in the new, no. anyhow, here are the details. I digress. This is a satin and metallic eye palette with nine eye-catching shades, easily blendable and buildable, creamy texture with a clean and vegan formula. With these nine eyeshadows, you can definitely get creative. I definitely see some one and dones in here. So if you're in the mood for just something quick and easy, I have to go. There you go. <laughs> but I can also see some nice fun looks, some dramatic looks, some soft looks, some everyday looks. And we're gonna do a couple of looks, but first let me share some swatches with you. Take a look-see one more time before I dive in. So cute, okay. So let's swatch, let's swatch really quick and see. Ooh. Very, very smooth to the touch. Oh no, there goes the Eiffel Tower. So the first three shades. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Oh, do you 
see this shade right here? Oh my goodness. Oh, very pretty. I'm getting excited. <laughs> Oh wow, they're super creamy as you can see just by the swatches. Swatches never tell you the full story, they're just going to tell you what you've got to expect and of course how they feel and texture and such. Alright, so I'm playing around with a new lens. Wow, that was a little close. So feedback is kindly appreciated, but I wanted to be able to get super dupe close. You know, so you don't miss a thing, right? <laughs> okay. So, um, let's start working on the face and trying out this. And then we'll do some looks with the eyeshadow palette. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Where's my hair scrunchie? All right. I'm just quickly going to apply my foundation. Typical stuff. Um, I'm using the Chantecaille as my primer. This one, you know usual stuff around here this is skincare but it does double as a primer for your makeup I've got the by Terry the rose balm they have it in a little pot and they also have it in this liquid variation the swatches from the palette oh my gosh I'm really excited to get these on the eyes okay I'm gonna use my Chantecai future skin foundation and then we'll go in with a By Terry Concealer. This foundation feels so good on the skin. It's a gel formula. So it feels nice and hydrating. It's very skin-like, very natural. So see, my skin still looks like my skin. It's just evened out. And man, do you see this little thing cooking right here? Oh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I have two by Terry concealers that I just I love. Um, this one. This is the Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. I did do a dedicated video to this. I'm going to link it up in the cards. Um, but I picked up an old favorite. This used to be the only concealer I used for years. I mean, years, 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 years. This is the Terribly Denseless Concealer. It's an anti-wrinkle, dark circle, eye bag serum corrector. Firming, protector, ultra smoothing. Yes, all of those things. See, it says right there. Do you see? <laughs> and I use the shade number five, Desert Beige. It's definitely your skincare and makeup combined, and you know we love that. So I'm just gonna blend that with my sponge. Do I dare bring you a little closer? Oh, hello. Oh. There's no holding back, no hiding here. Welcome to my face, hi. <laughs> I hope you cannot hear my child. She's playing with her friends and yeah. Let's see what the powders do because I know I heard when I read, <laughs> yes, you listen to yourself when you read, right? <laughs> I never heard something about smoothing and all of the things and the regular Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, the loose powder that I mentioned earlier. That does a beautiful job at setting and hydrating your skin with it being a powder. Yes. So, anyhow. <laughs> let's. Let's see what these bad boys are all about. I am going to grab. I got a new brush, you guys. It's from the brand Units. I didn't even know of this brand, but I was on the Beautylish site. And it, you know, things happen, but it looks like this. So we're going to try this. Um, I'm going to go into this shade here, which is the medium apricot tone. It's said to correct 
pigmentation and discoloration. So yeah, let's see. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that. Oh yeah, she's a nice soft powder. Gonna kick up this normal powder. So let's set one eye and see what happens. Am I blurred? Am I perfected? Did all my imperfections disappear a little bit? What do you think? Let's zoom out a little. It's a little close. Can we see a difference? Okay, let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> the lightest shade, I mean, do I dare go into that to see because it says that one is to highlight and brighten. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just gonna flip that brush around and go into this lightest shade right here. Right here. Just a little bit. Let's see. I'm keeping it like on the center portion, the beginning portion of my eye, which we don't mind a little brightening up. Here too, why not? We like to brighten there too. Wow, for such a light shade, I was like, oh no. It's actually, it's not giving me a cast, that's good. Okay, so this side is set and this side is not set for the eye area. Now for the entire face, it said that this shade right here, which is the fair neutral tone, can be used all over for evening out skin tone. Are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna do it. <laughs> so I've got a fluffy brush. This is from Chikohoto. Let's go into this shade here. I like, I'm, I'm going in, but I'm like, am I picking up any product? I have to. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Shall we continue? I'm gonna just keep it, I'll keep it on this side of the face. That we did the under eye already. So we can see if we see a difference. Okay, there is the powder applied. My pores seem to be a little bit smoother. I mean, you can see them here. I mean... <laughs> okay. And that's how we're looking so far. Now I'm like ready to dive into the bronzing shade, the warm shade. I wanna make sure I use the right brush. So I'm gonna use my usual brush. I always use a Wayne Goss number 11. This one is clean. This is my everyday one that is over there. <laughs> so let's try that one. And I'll keep everything on one side so we can see and then, of course, we'll even everything out. But I'm going to go into this shade here. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Like, this makes me happy because now I could definitely be able to really reach for this palette. Because I can get a bronze out of it. Yes! We love... And the tone is nice. It's not too red or orange. Mm, okay, let's keep going. I feel good about it. Now this brush, it's, it's not super dense, 
but it's like a, cr a good cross between fluffy and dense. That's why I like it for bronzing because bronzing, contouring, and that thing. Because it doesn't make your product look harsh. Hello. Ooh, it's looking so good. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Okay. I got a little scared there for a minute because I'm like, meh. <laughs> but I mean, it's looking nice so far. Okay. That was like a, a deal breaker almost for me. Brought back beautiful warmth to my skin. All right. So let me quickly even out the rest of the face. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go into this shade here all over. That's really just to set the face and smooth everything. Then I'm gonna set my under eye with this shade first. Yes, I will be using this. This is gonna be so nice for just every day, you know? And then I'm gonna go into the lightest, just doing the exact same things. Going into that lightest shade. A little bit more of a brightened effect. All over the under eye. I'm this unit's brush? Okay. Hi. Well, I mean, I know the call the powders have color, but I think they're looking good on the skin. All right, bronzing. Bringing that warmth back to my face. Yes, please. You know. It's like you sit in here minding your business and then you decide to try something new that you weren't expecting to, you know. <laughs> here you go. Thank you, by Terry. <laughs> Thank you, Terry de Gunsberg. Okay, let me back you up a little bit. <laughs> Mm. Under eyes are set. Skin looks like skin. I have a little warmth. It's very natural. Very, very nice. All right, let me grab some blush because we need some blush. Uh, I'm just grabbing my Hermes. This is rose tan. This is my everyday blush. So we're going to use that. Keeping on theme, I've got my Hermes blush brush. It's not my favorite, but... It does a really good job with the actual blush. Yes. Yes. I know. I have a very much love-hate relationship with this blush brush, but... Okay, let's get into the eyeshadows because we need to create a couple of looks. Damn. Okay, like this close, I can't hide anything from you, so I just have to say I feel like my skin looks very nice. Like, yeah, you can, t I mean, yeah, I'm wearing makeup, but I don't look caked on and heavy. You know what I mean? You can still see my skin. Love that. And the powders. Those powders, they're such a lightweight texture. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into these beautiful eyeshadows. I'm just like looking at my swatches to see what I want to do because I want to do a couple of looks. So a couple of looks. Yes. So I'm going to just grab a fluffy blush, brush, <laughs> this is an Esom W, no, got an E. this is an Esom S33, going into that center shade, right, now remember this palette only has satins and metallics, but we're going to make it work, I want to use this as my transitioning shade, keeping that directly focused in my crease and just blending and building and we'll go from there that was quite easy of a blend <laughs> to get you know a little something in the crease which is what we want yes okay hello 
Now, I'm gonna go into the darker of the two from that row with that same brush, this one right here. And I'm gonna build that up on my outer, outer eye area. Right, ready? I'm just building. Mm, okay. Now whatever is left on that brush, I'm just going to blend it directly into my crease. Okay, okay. I don't know what brush I want to use. Where is that? I have a new brush. Here it is. Yeah. This one from Sonia G, the builder. I want to... Oh my goodness. I want to go into this shade right here. It kind of swatched with a little reflect to it, like a goldish pink, this one. I think I wanna put that on my lid. So let's do that. I'm just picking that shade up. Let's put that all over the lid. Yeah, you see, it's like gold, but it's pink. So pretty. Just gonna pick up more and build up on that intensity. Please let me know your feedback with this lens and like this close. I mean, I always got close, but I feel like this is like extra close. Like, I don't know. Just give me your feedback, okay? <laughs> Please. Thank you. I'm going to go back into that darker shade that we use on the outer eye. And intensify it a little bit. Yes, I like that. That's pretty. And then for a little something, I'm gonna do a little something on the inner eye, right? Let's do a little something. I'm gonna go into this shade up here. And just on the inner portion. Hello. Now, I'm just going to grab a clean, fluffy brush. This is another Esum G34. G just blend all the edges. Now, what did we use? Four shades? But it was so easy, quick, blended beautifully, and I think they look so nice. Yes. Okay, let's do another look. I think we're going to do three looks because I'm feeling inspired today. And if you get this palette, I want you to feel that way as well. And feel that and know that you can create multiple looks. It's not just going to be a palette you get because you got it. Because Mo said, hey, get it. No. We're getting it because we're gonna use it. So let's do a couple of looks. Let's do another look. Let's do another look and then we'll do three. Yeah. What am I saying? What I'm saying, hi. <laughs> I'm saying that we're gonna do three looks, okay? Okay. So, so let's go into this shade, which is lighter than this one. It swatched right here, like this. Right here. Let's do that. I'm gonna use the same brushes. Blend that on the outer eye and bring it in the crease. I guess I'm breaking makeup rules by using a shade that's not matte in the crease, but whatever. Let me tell you right now, this shade right here would make a beautiful one and done. Yes, it would. Okay, and then that clean, fluffy brush. Blend those edges so it's nice and smooth. Now, let's go into this beautiful, copper-esque, just beautiful shade right here. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. It's so pretty. Okay. 
That is gorgeous. Yeah, that would make a beautiful one and done as well. And then, depending on the brush you use, your intensity will be, you know, a little softer if you wanted it more blended and blown out. But because I'm using more of like a building builder packer brush. Ooh. Sorry. I usually use my mirror in front of me so that I don't do that. So forgive me if I went out of focus there a moment. There's no fallout. Do we not love that? Cleaning off that brush because I want to go into this shade here and use that as the inner corner highlighting shade. Yes. Let's see. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of the shade we applied in the crease and just re-intensifying that outer eye a little bit. Look how nice and melded and blended these shadows are. Yeah. So here are our first two looks. You know, you finish it up with some mascara, a little something on the lower lash line. Lashes if you want to, if you're feeling a little spicy. Ooh, okay. Beautiful formula, beautiful. Now I got one more look for you, just because I've been playing with everything and I feel like I, I feel good about the next look. Let's, let's, let me take this off and I'll be right back and we'll do another look. And we're back. So I went over and uh, primed my lids with the concealer from By Terry and then I set it with the powder that we've been using. Ah! Don't mind me, I'm making a mess over here. Now let's do one final look and I'm just, I have my heart set on this shade right here. And just look at how beautiful it's swatched. It's rich, it's beautiful. And then I, yeah, I need to get that all over the lid. Let's do something a little bit, just even more dramatic, yes, okay? So I'm using the same brush. I did clean it off on my microfiber towel, the Sony G Builder brush. So I'm going to pick up this shade here and pack that all over the lid. And we'll go from there, because I don't know what else I'm doing. I just know that I wanted this shade all over my lid because it's swatched so beautifully and it's it's brown but it's rich and it has little reflex of warmth in it see it's so pretty these shades are super creamy they build very easily i mean i can't hide you guys see i have no fallout it's it's incredible. So I'm just building on the lid and then we'll go from there. That same brush we've been using, no product, and just use that to blend these edges. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I wanna use that to do a little brow bone highlight. Just a little something. I have been using a new eyebrow growth serum, so don't mind my eyebrows. I'm just grateful to have them. <laughs> Now, we must go into a shade we haven't used yet, Monique. <laughs> Let's go into this first shade here. I feel that with creating all three of these looks, we were able to pretty much use all of the eyeshadows. Yes. We love that. On the lower lash, I'm grabbing my rougher, which I've been loving these brushes. And then I'm also going to grab a Wayne Goss brush. I have a little... Here it is. I don't think he makes this brush anymore. It came in like a set. But um, let's go into that same shade we used on the lid. 
and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line nice and close. And I'm keeping it on the outer portion. I'm not bringing it all the way. Okay, and then with that refer, it's clean. Just gonna blend that. And then, because like I promised you, we're gonna do as much by Terry as possible. This is the by Terry eye pencil. This is in the shade. I'll tell you in a second. Don't mind my calluses. I've been using kettlebells to work out, guys. Um, this is in the shade number seven, Brown Secret. So I'm gonna put that in my waterline. These pencils are super creamy. A couple coats of mascara. This look, you could totally put some false lashes and really take it there. But I'm gonna just do some mascara today. You know what? I don't have on any highlighter. But let's go into one of these shades. Mm hmm. Let's do it. Let's go with Airbrush from Wayne Goss. Now let's go into the second shade here. I think that'll look pretty. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, that'll work. I needed a little glow. I did. <laughs> and we're back to our other lens. Let me know. Hi you guys um like that like that lens that super close like all up in there you can't yeah you 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 know <laughs> let me know comment below let me know but here's our finished look I feel very pretty very sophisticated the shadows were an absolute pleasure to work with they blended beautifully this is a very practical color story I mean do we have colors like this in that collection I'm sure <laughs> But is it in this beautiful by Terry formula? Maybe not. Is it in this beautiful packaging with these little cutesies all over? No, you know. But I think overall the performance of the shadows was was beautiful. And this is a very, very pretty color story. I know I've said that, but I'm saying it again because it is. And I mean the packaging. I didn't really talk too much about it, but the packaging is very nice. Lots of beautiful details, you know. It's not too thick and bulky. That's your little, man, get them fingerprints off really quick so you can actually see something. There, let's see if you can see, there you go. Okay. Um, it does have a very nice mirror that I was able to use all throughout my um, shadow application and such. That's as far as the palette opens, but it is, you know, controlled if you wanna put it down anywhere and such. Snap closure it is, it looks like a tin, but I feel like it's plastic. Yeah, but the eyeshadows, very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. This, what's the name again? The Hyaluronic Hydro Powder Palette in medium to warm shade. Wow, I mean, because I know you're probably gonna ask, how does it compare to the original, traditional, loose, I feel like this is this in just a compact with colors. And what I love most, I mean, the bronzer, the bronzer, the bronzing shade. Wow. This truly is probably one of the only, I don't have a lot of products like this, like face palettes, because I kind of stay away from them because there's always products in there that I won't use. I'll probably just use like one, but this you'll actually be able to use all of them. The formulation is really, really nice. This is a, the true Hyaluronic Hydra Powder formulation. Very, very, very nice. Um, and the packaging is pretty much the same as the eyeshadow palette. It's that snap closure. This one's kind of just, you know, it's not, this one's a little bit raised. But this one is not. And then on the back, oh my gosh, you get the idea. Get your little sticker. Um, 
This one opens to yay much. You can control it. The mirror is really good quality. I was able to use it, no fuss, no issues. I'm very, very impressed with how this performed. I was a little surprised at first because I was like, when I first looked at it, I was like, damn, how's that gonna work on me? But wow. Impressed, shall I say? I'm so happy that I was able to share these new By Terry products with you. Comment below, let me know what you're thinking. How are you feeling about these new products? Thank you all so much for spending some of your time with me today. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.